welcome friends now in this lecture i'll be explaining you about the different data types which are supported by python now basically what is data type so data type means what type of the data should be stored in the variable but in python we don't have specific command to define the data type variable gets its data type as soon as the value is initialized i have already explained you about this now data types are classification of the data items and it represents the kind of a value that operation is to be performed on a particular data so it defines basically what type of operation to be performed on the data but remember one thing in python everything is objects data types are actually classes and variables and are the instance object of this classes that's why when i say type something it gives class integer or class float or class boolean so in python everything is objects and the data types are actually classes and the variables or the instance of this classes or the objects of this classes so let's say what are the standard or the built in data types of python so we have numeric data type we have sequence data type boolean data type set data type and dictionary data type now this numeric are further classified as integer data type complex numbers and float data types dictionary itself is a data type then comes boolean then comes set now again sequence has different data types like string list and tuple so numeric has three different types that is integer complex and float and sequence has further three different types that is string list and tuple now as a part of numeric the integer are value represented by integer class they can be positive or negative whole numbers now in python there is no limit to how long integer value can be so these are the numbers without fraction values or the decimal points they are the whole numbers coming to the next that is float so the value represented by float class so i have told you integer float complex they all are class in the python so it's a real number with a floating point representation means it will have a decimal point now they can be represented in the scientific form that is with e that may be small or capital which is the scientific notation so that we'll see in the demonstration now the third is complex number now complex number is represented by complex class now this complex number will have one real part and one imaginary part so again we'll see this in demonstration so let's see here the demonstration of integer float and complex numbers fine let's see the program which will demonstrate my numeric data types so here i have defined integer that is a equal to 500 and we'll see what is the type of integer that is a class of integer then there is float that is b equal to 500 and the complex 20 plus 40 j so see here since a is 500 without decimal point a whole number it is telling itself class integer so i can say a is instance of class integer now b is 500 so i can say b is the instance of class float and since it is decimal point it is float and c is initialized to or uh, assigned a value with 20 plus 40j and it is of class complex so in this way i have three different data types uh, we'll see more on complex data type and its operation in my further videos now let's see what is sequence data type now in python sequence are ordered collection of similar or different data type so it's telling similar or different sequence allows to store multiple values in an organized way so i can have different data types in one sequence so there are several different types of sequences the first is string second is list 
and third is tuple in this video i'm just explaining you what these are introducing you detail about string tuple list i'll be explaining you in further videos so first what is string now string are the array of bytes that represents unicode character now you can say string is also a collection of one or more characters but these characters are put in single quotes double quotes or triple quotes other languages like c c++ and java it's a single quotes its character and double quotes its string but in python whether it is single quotes double quotes or triple quotes it takes as a string in python there is no support for character data type fine so if the string length is 1 it is treated as character now string is represented by a class string that we'll see in the demonstration the next data type is list so now list are like arrays which are declared in any other languages whether it's c c++ or java but the list differs from arrays now list are just like an arrays declared in any other languages like c c++ or java but in this languages like c c++ and java this arrays are of same data type now if it's an integer array it will have integer values float array it will have float values and if it's a character array it will have character values but list are not homogeneous always it can take different data types like integer string float even the objects also and list are mutable mutable means they can be altered after creation so python the so list and python are ordered and have a definite count and list elements are indexed according to the sequence they are defined so list is like arrays but may store integer float objects string into it means it can store the data of different or the objects of different data types lists are mutable means they can change the value or we can change the data in the list fine so i hope list is clear we'll see the list in demonstration and more details we'll see in the further video about list tuples are also the object sorry tuples are also the ordered collection of objects in python like a list now the sequence of stored in tuple can be of any type they can be indexed by integer but the main difference between list and tuple is tuples are immutable tuples are immutable means i cannot change its length once it is declared tuples are hash tables whereas list are not and tuples are represented by tuple class string are represented by string class list are represented by list class so let's see the demonstration one by one so this is a python program to demonstrate creation of list so list with opening closing bracket will create the blank list now here in the list i have taken a single string so here the list with the use of string that is list it will print the value cavidia sir and here in the list i have taken multiple values and with some index i am printing those so let's save the program first initial blank list just opening closing bracket there is no value now the list with the use of string that is a single string and the list containing multiple values now see cavedia sir youtube channel so it has got index 0 this is index 1 this is index 2 and this is index 3 so i have already told you that the list items will get an integer index value and by default it is starting with 0 so i hope uh, this about the list is clear now let's see the demonstration of strings fine let's see the program for string or the demonstration of string so the python program to update and delete the string now string is hello i am a python that is initial string now here at index 2 i am changing the character and here index 2 i am deleting the character with the help of delete 
statement. I've already explained you what is delete statement. Fine. Let's see the Python program to demonstrate string. Now in this, I've defined a string called as hello, I am Python and it will print the initial string. But it will give error at this two point because updation and deletion is not supported by string. So let's see what is the output. First I'll save the program and then I'm running. Fine. See here it is telling initial string the message is print as initial string and then the print string one so it will print hello i am string so it is printing hello i am python that was a string now see here it is giving error string one of two p now see here since there is an error generated it has terminated the code because string p one of two equal to p means we are trying to change the value of p which is not supported so it says string object does not support item assignment fine so string is to be completely assigned now let's say i am making this complete program as comment uh, this part of the program as comment let's say i'm making this part of the program as comment now i'll run the code again so we have seen string doesn't support assignment now again we'll run the code fine so it is printing the initial string hello i am python because string was i am python but now what it says string object does not support item deletion here i have written delete delete string one of two so it doesn't supports deletion also so program is terminated with an error what is an error string does not support item deletion so I hope uh, this part of the string is clear uh, about more details and methods of string we'll see in our video of string. Now let's see the demonstration of tuple. So I've told you what is the difference between list and tuple. Both are ordered set but one is mutable, list is mutable and tuple is immutable. Fine. Let's see the demonstration of tuple. So here I've created a initial tuple that is a blank tuple. Now remember one thing list is created with square bracket and tuple is created with circular bracket. Fine. So here I've taken uh, initial a blank tuple and then in second tuple I've passed on two values that is cavidia and sir and I'm printing that tuple and uh, the third I'm creating a tuple with a value with a values of list so i've created a list that is 10 20 30 40 50 and using list i am creating the tuple so i am changing this immutable to, uh, this mutable to immutable and now i'll run this code first i'll save oh bracket is missing uh, comma is missing here fine now i'll save the program and now i'll run Fine. So it says initial empty tuple with uh, circular brackets or the brace brackets. Now here, if you see the compare the code with the list one, the list was having square brackets and here it is circular bracket. Now tuple with use of string, it is cavidia sir and tuple with use of list that is 10 20 30 40 50 so i have created here 10 30 20 20 30 40 there is a list and this list was converted into tuple now let's see uh, again the demonstration of list also and i'll execute that program also so i can compare both now here if you see the blank list is square bracket here the empty tuple is with the circular brackets everything in the list is with the square brackets whereas tuples within a circular bracket. So I hope you have cleared with what is list, tuple and string. This was just a demonstration what these data types are. And we'll see it's in more detail in my other videos. So to summarize, we were seeing about data types. So Python supports numeric data type. Numeric data types are further integer, float and complex numbers. Then you have dictionary, boolean, set and a sequence data type now in this sequence data type there are string list and tuple so they are called a sequence because they are sequence of values so i hope this is clear so stay safe stay careful 
and take care and my next video is something different in that video i am not explaining any of the concepts of python but i have taken some few programs and explain that so i hope you will enjoy and you will like those programs they are very simple and basic programs these are for you to practice have a nice time